what I found is that the the schools are being influenced on on all levels, and this influence is coming from the the government. It's coming from the United Nations, from UNESCO, uh, and in large part in BC, it's coming from the BC Teachers Federation. And I started to notice patterns. And um, Jim, you were talking about anti-racism. This is what I was kind of concerned about at the time: is this this anti-racism because I consider it just to be racism is what they're teaching the kids that you can you can be racist but you can't be racist because of the color of your skin that goes against everything that I learned as a child but as as I looked into this I, I noticed these patterns where uh, these different groups would come in say maybe it would be like a social emotional learning group or an anti-racism group and they would create uh, a pod in the school they would get somebody to be like the leader a teacher and then they would be responsible for bringing in other kind of like commanders in that pod. And it was all the same description, create this group inside the school, bring in the other teachers. And it tells you how to like talk to them about whatever agenda they're trying to push, whether it's anti-racism, uh, social, emotional learning, uh, the gender stuff. And it, it all followed the same pattern. And, you know, th this is kind of where the light switch went off for me is that um, it, it, it's almost like, I don't even want to say it's almost, it is an organized group of people that are trying to influence the school. And what they're doing is, is they're doing it through an administrative way. They're not coming out and saying, this is what we're doing in teaching the kids. And that's what I see with SOGI. So SOGI uh, instructs teachers and through the BCTF, they, they have their little pro D and whatever they do. And they, they talk about all this stuff behind the scenes, but they're not saying it out loud. And even when I go into the school district in Kelowna and I sit down uh, with the the superintendent or the assistant superintendent, I ask questions. I'm like, what's your policy? What do you do? You know, I'm worried that as a parent, uh, somebody's teaching my child something and they say, well, I want to switch genders that you guys are going to keep that a secret. So what's your policy? What are you supposed to do? And you know, what's the answer you're getting? Well, it's they they directed me to their policies, um, but they don't have an official policy on it. And that's that's the problem is there's no official policy. So there's an unofficial policy through this administrative layer of these pods and groups of people that are pushing this agenda through. So it largely goes unseen and unchecked. And even at a high administrative level, I was showing information to the school district that they had no idea was out there. I, I sat down with the principal and I showed them what the BCTF says right on it's right on the first page of their website. They talk about examining everything through the lens of social justice. All lessons must be taught through the lens of social justice. And to me, that just sounds crazy. You know, the, and you, you, re, you read through some of the material and it, it's, it doesn't make any sense. It's um, I think Barry used the word. It's a critical theory where where you know this is some sort of like marxist communist critical theory and they're they're teaching this to the kids so it, it is related to sogi it all kind of seems to come together in one big blob and that that's how i saw that and that's how i got into the sogi thing and a real big eye opener for me was um you know i came to the conclusion that this stuff was bad and i didn't want it around my kids but i still didn't know and then i, I started watching billboard chris a little bit late in the game and you know he really opened my eyes and of course i found uh, pierre barnes and, and uh, yourself what you're doing with the sogi task force which is amazing um so yeah that, that's when i really woke up probably in the last year here <laughs>